What's up my little babies? It's your girl Lube guys and I am back with another video. As I always say guys, if you have not watched my latest video, do be sure to watch it. The link will be down in the description below. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up guys and subscribe if you're not subscribed and join the family. Let's jump into this video. Jumping into this video, let's talk about Funny Mike. Now, Funny Mike has a birthday, and today is his birthday. He's celebrating, and he's at the club with his mouth iced out. And it looked like Funny Mike is having a good time, which we know he's always going to have a good time. But as you guys know, Funny Mike and Julia did recently break up, so you guys know that Julia is not there. And every time they break up, I do notice that Jenie is always there. Now, she did wish Funny Mike a happy birthday in her Instagram story. And she stated this, happy birthday, cuzzo. And Funny Mike reposted stating, LOL, I ain't your dang cuzzo. You guys, just check out the body language in this picture that is not cousin behavior. You guys know Jenny A is single. You guys tell me if I'm overreacting in the comments down below. Could she be his alleged sneaky link? Because this is not the first time. Like I said, several times Jalea and Funny Mike has broken up. And every time it seems that Jenny A is always around. You guys comment down below. Let me know your opinion on this situation. Now we also have Ari who flew to Los Angeles, California. I'm assuming to be part of a content house. And so happened that the cops showed up before they can even wake up good. Oh my God, bro. Man, what the? What the f How are we getting swatted? What? Bro? Oh my f God, bro. Wait, so the police are gonna f with us? No, they won't come out. No, that's why I'm playing. I'm playing. I don't even know what's going on. Huh? Are they gonna f with us or no? Nah, you just gotta come outside. Nah, we don't have to get out. We don't have to get out. We don't have to get up. Hands up. So that was pretty crazy. And Ari seemed pretty scared, but hopefully she will come out soon and let us know what happened with that. Now, this next topic almost blew me away when I found out that, that Jessica just got married to Reed. I know Jessica didn't let anybody know she kept the secret until her and Reed popped out being married. Maybe she didn't want people to talk negative or maybe she didn't want to hear what people had to say. But guys, she is officially off the market. She is married to Reed. And I can't act like this is not shocking to me because it caught me off guard completely. I did not expect Jessica to get married to Reed so quickly. I know she knew him before. Yes, he is an ex. They reoccurred in her life and they decided to work back on their relationship. But so quickly she got married to him. It's just, I don't know, guys. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it's going to be trouble in the long run. I could be wrong, but how do you guys feel about this whole ordeal? Now, a lot of Jessica fans heard this news and suspected that Jessica could possibly be pregnant. And this is the reason why her and Reed got married. So Jessica wanted to quickly clear up the rumors of her being pregnant. So she came to the incident and stated this. Please stop spreading false rumors. I'm not pregnant. Thank you. Now, people could be assuming that Jessica is pregnant because... The marriage was so quickly and it was spontaneous and it caught people off guard. So a lot of people just assumed that it had to be for the purposes of a child. But Jessica is saying, no, it is not that. She, I guess she just loved Reed. I'm going to say congratulations to Jessica, but I do hope this is not um, a situation that she jumped in so quickly that in a few years, we will possibly see them in court with her probably fighting for her royalties because she probably didn't get a prenup. But anyways, guys, moving on to the next topic. Now, it also looks as if Nunu doesn't want anything to do with Influencer City anymore, where he took it upon himself to unfollow a lot of the influencers, and a few of those influencers had something to say. Now, Maj also called Nunu, but it so happened that Slime was the one to get on the phone and let Messy Maj know that they know why they got unfollowed and that it's some competition stuff and they don't like it. So, you guys, let's jump into what Maj got on the phone and talked to Slime and what he had to say. And then we're going to jump into what a few of the influencers had to say about the whole ordeal and then I'm um, following them. Okay, Slime, yeah, I was trying to figure out, did you know anything that happened? Because, you know, we were up on live and the people had wanted you to come up on here because I told them what you were saying yesterday. Basically, we're going to come up on the live. But the people, the people wanted to know, do you know anything that happened with Nunu? Because Nunu unfollowed majority of his cast. 
But the groups, right? Huh? The groups, I'm guessing, the, yeah, the PG. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you know, they'll be getting text messages how they be posing, rated Arsenal on top, and this and that, and just, it just going on like when we, when you know, it's from tour and everything, like niggas just be keeping a lot of shit between them niggas. It, they be feeling like they on top. They just better than everybody. And just like from another thing, just like how they were like, how one man in Texas you talking about something. Council Jacob and some old shit like they always try to make it seem like we always the bad people and they just be wanting radar to look so fucking good so nigga just fell back like mm. man there's no hard business nigga just fell back from them so apparently it seemed like Noodle unfollow because they think they're better and want I guess it's group against group and this is what a few of the other influencers had to say about Noodle unfollowing them I should say I should have fucked game. Trying to see everybody win. Ain't nobody in no competition, man. For real. You see, we ain't no competition. We in the car, same car, both on screen. We both on Hello. <laughs> Now, besides Nat and Eli, Naya also has something to say. She stated, y'all see who he didn't unfollow. Now, that person happened to be Jacob. Now, somebody also called this out under his comments when Nunu posted a TikTok response to the influencers unfollowing him back. Someone stated under there this, how you gonna unfollow Chris and he bailed you out of jail? Another person stated, he unfollowed everybody but Jacob which people was not here for Nunu unfollowing all the influencers. Now we also have Brooklyn and Benet, who also has something to say to Nunu for unfollowing them. Yeah, I know he unfollowed me, so I unfollowed him back. The stop it because I don't like his stuff. But it's like I got a man. Sorry. I unfollowed him because he's a weird bitch. What is, you what unfollowed the fuck? him? I don't know. I'm just saying this out. He's a weird bitch. No fault. Where is my song? You just have to find it. No, no, nobody gives a fuck. No fuck. He don't follow me, so I don't follow him. He can at least remove me as a follower. Because bitch, I ain't so damn ho. And we also have Rose who has been expressing her emotions about being pregnant by F. Will and wanting nothing to do with the baby. And she decided to keep the baby. Now she recently did a baby gender reveal where she finds out that she's having a baby boy. So congratulations to her. Are we ready guys? like F will will regret the decision he made and not being in the baby's life but I do feel like he's also going to come around now I think he's going to come around possibly when a baby is born born and seeing that he actually has a son um and kind of embracing that I don't know guys what well, we shall see but anyways this wraps up this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video